guys today we are strength testing telescopic Chinese fishing rod that we got off of Amazon for 40 bucks um, we have tested this for lure fishing and bait fishing a couple of weeks ago and uh, found out that it's really good for bait fishing lure fishing the nine foot pole not so much um, today we're actually just going to be testing how strong this rod is so it starts out probably two and a half feet and it goes to over nine, over nine feet long. Problem that we've encountered when fishing with this with lures is that it was too floppy. It didn't have a good backbone. So my question is, how strong is it for bait fishing then? Would I be able to catch a shark with it? Today we're testing with two liter bottles. We've got Coke, Sprite, ginger ale. Let's see how many liters this, this rod can lift. Guys, we're running out of things to lift and strength test with. Comment below some ideas. Ever since my injury, I've had time to design and make some cool t-shirts, which um, I'm actually pretty happy because I've been trying to make a t-shirt for you guys for a while. Um, it comes in all different sizes. It comes in short sleeves, long sleeves, tank top. Um, and if you guys are interested, check the link below. We're so grateful for your support. If you want to show some more love, buy some Senko Skipper shirts. Yeah, I got the... Uh... The red one on right here. Whoa! Got this one on. What else we got? We got a suitcase Aaron design. Yep. We got mugs. We got a lot of different stuff. Yeah. All on our shop, so check that out. Mm -hmm. I'd like you guys to guess in the comments below how many of these two liter bottles do you think that this rod will be able to handle without breaking? My guess is like four. Aaron, what's what's your guess? Maybe three. Four. Three? Four? Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking three, four as well. Yeah, I mean this rod is really flexible, so I'm thinking that it will be able to handle a lot of weight. Uh -huh. Alright, let's see if we can break this rod. We're going to start with just lifting one two liter thing of coke. I bet you it'll be able to do it. Ready? I'm ready. Once. The rod cracked? The rod cracked once. Whoa! There. Not Easy enough. Two. Test number two. Time for two. Oh, this is getting heavy. This is getting heavy. Alright, let's see it. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, it's cracking. It's cracking. Ah! Well, that was quicker than I thought. <laughs> Get off the stage! Wow. Crap. Wow. Did not expect that. I did not expect that. We had six more bottles to go. Yeah, we got Look at that. It just completely snapped right here. So if you were to hook on to a big fish, I mean even like a big skate. We seriously had so many more tests. Yeah. Wow. I thought it was going to break like around here. Where it was most bendy. Well come here, look. This is where it broke. Right here. Uh -huh. Wow. So if you're getting this rod in hopes to catch some big fish, I would reconsider that. This is a fun rod for some medium sized fish, but uh, it wouldn't be able to handle a shark or like a, a skate or you know anything of, of, of size and power. Uh, because that, that was only two, two bottles of uh, that was only four liters of, of liquid. The ugly stick would have held it. 
yeah if if i were if i were using the ugly stick it would have handled it no problem but since this telescopic rod has so many different you know weak points, weak points it's not a great rod for for big fishing so here's the conclusion if you're oh. What I was gonna say is, if you're trying to go for big fish, don't get this rod. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this answered some questions that you had about this rod. If not, I hope you at least enjoyed yourself. Have a good one, guys. See you next week. We're gonna be able, we're gonna see if we can, Oop. Buy some of these. Uh, <laughs> let's let's uh, let's two. Duh. Wait, are we recording? Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yes. Ready? Yes. Is it filming? It's filming. M mic's on. Microphone is on. Okay. <laughs>